Hello everyone, I'm Sign One News anchor Martha Anger. Here's a quick look at the top trending stories making headlines today. If you post an interesting comment during this update, we may add it at the bottom of the screen. We want to warn you, the video in this story is very graphic and may be disturbing to some viewers. The Los Angeles Police Department released new body cam footage showing the moments leading up to the accidental shooting death of 14-year-old Valentina Orellana Peralta while she was changing clothes in a department store dressing room. Now this is video of the suspect, Daniel Elena Lopez, on a rampage inside the store. He had already assaulted several people. Police arrived with guns drawn, thinking it was an active shooter situation. They saw Lopez hitting a woman, then found her hurt and bleeding. That's when officers opened fire, killing Lopez and accidentally killing Peralta. Again, we want to warn you, the video is graphic and may be disturbing to some viewers. Police say they believe the girl was hit by an officer's bullet a bullet that ricocheted off the tile floor and entered the dressing room wall, striking her in the chest and killing her instantly. The California Attorney General's Office and the California Department of Justice are now investigating. Do you remember this story from two years ago? Four people were killed in a fiery 28-car pileup on Interstate 70 in Colorado when a truck driver came barreling into traffic at 85 miles per hour. The truck driver, Rogel Aguiera Maderos, claimed his brakes gave out, but he was convicted and sentenced to the mandatory sentence required by Colorado law, 110 years in prison. Now a Colorado district attorney is trying to reduce the sentence, and several celebrities, including legal activist Kim Kardashian, are supporting the effort. A judge will reconsider the 110-year sentence at a hearing on January 13th. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has shortened the recommended time that people should isolate after a positive COVID-19 test. The agency reduced its recommendation from 10 days to five, but only if you're not having symptoms and you should wear a mask for an additional five days. The CDC says those who have received a booster shot 
do not need to quarantine following an exposure. but they should wear a mask for 10 days after the exposure. Thousands more flights have been canceled as COVID cases triggered air crew shortages. And now some travel experts worry the chaos could extend through New Year's Eve. They are offering this advice on your rights if your flight is canceled. First, you are eligible for a refund. A full refund if your entire flight or portions of your flight are canceled and you don't take an alternate flight. Second, check your flight status often before heading to the airport. And third, contact your airline and be proactive to avoid frustration. And have you noticed gas is getting cheaper? Well, wait before you celebrate. Gas price tracking tech company, Gas Buddy, says that that trend will not continue. And it's predicting the national average will rise to $3.41 a gallon and will peak in the month of May at $3.79. It should be noted, oil prices are extremely difficult to predict accurately, but experts are 100% sure the prices will go up before they go down. Apple has temporarily closed its 16 New York City stores to in-person shopping and Genius Bar tech support due to the increase in COVID-19 cases, but customers can still place orders online and pick them up at stores. Apple has also temporarily closed stores in Los Angeles, Washington, D.C., Ohio, Texas, and Georgia. All of them have been closed temporarily to in-person shopping. One of the perks of being an official CNN affiliate is we get to see stuff before anyone else. And then we share it with you. So movie lovers, get ready. Here's a quick sneak peek at the big movies being released in the first six months of 2022. Actor Jared Leto stars as Morbius, a biochemist who accidentally becomes a living vampire. It debuts in theaters on January 28th. Actor Tom Holland, who stars in this year's blockbuster Spider-Man No Way Home movie, will be back in theaters in the movie Uncharted. He will play the character of Nathan Drake which is a big screen adaptation of the popular video game. I love that game. It arrives in theaters on February 18th. Actor Robert Pattinson fights for Gotham City as a young dark knight in the Batman 
which swoops into theaters March 4th. Disney and Pixar's latest animated adventure is entitled Turning Red, about a 13-year-old girl who turns into a giant red panda. It debuts on March 11th. Actor Tom Cruise is back in the cockpit as Pete Mitchell in the long-awaited Top Gun Maverick. It flies into theaters on May 27th. And finally, another courageous pilot heads to infinity and beyond in Lightyear. Actor Chris Evans takes on the voice role of Buzz Lightyear in an original story for the Toy Story character, which debuts on June 17th. Those all, movies all look pretty good. A lot of big movies are coming back from back in the day. Some of them are original spinoffs, but they're all positive. A lot of them have a lot of backstories added. Sign One News will be broadcasting live updates Monday through Friday. Then this Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, join us for a live panel of diverse guests to discuss the hot topics of the week. A big thank you to our Sign One News app supporters. You help make this broadcast happen. You can download the Sign One News app by heading to the App Store or Google Play Store on your smartphone. And you can also watch on Apple TV, Amazon, and Roku.